Alright, hi guys. Here's another installment from your local electrician. Um, so, today I have a job, whereas I've already done a lot of work at this location. There's this guy who lives in the, the garage. They convert the garage into a, a one-room place to stay. I can't call it an apartment because it doesn't have a bathroom or a sink. But it's a one-room place to stay, a dwelling. And um, I did all the electrical in there because of the fact that whoever did the previous electrical didn't bother the ground at all. And also, when it came to the neutral wires, they did this weird thing where they used a black hot wire put it to the tied to the neutral bu bus bar and then forgot that it was part of the neutral bus bar and connected to the hot side for the line in. So normally the neutral would go with neutral, the black would go with black, or the hot would go with hots. And then it would just go with a line in and load out. But they didn't do this. So they destroyed all the neutrals all the way through, destroyed the, um, the hot line as well. It was like burnt up really bad all the way around. Um, and then they decided to put a hidden junction box in the ceiling behind a light fixture. And I didn't even know it was there. Um, I got lucky. I, I kept telling them there's something going on here that's not right because in a series, you have to have a set of wires that meets another set of wires to continue the flow of electricity to the next point. But what they had was they had end like uh, the, the final location for each load so every outlet only had one set of wires and it was only a black and a white there's no ground more importantly than that it's like everywhere so even on the light switch it's the same thing um so i had to go ahead and reconfigure this and, and make sure it's done correctly i had to redo all the wiring inside the whole entire unit but then I was having problems, like, what's going on? Because it kept on tripping. I asked the guy, once again, about that uh, main breaker. Because he said that the main breaker had um, no problems and it was just for his place. Turns out the main breaker is actually used inside the house as well. It wasn't just an add-on dedicated line just for the, um, the garage room. It's used in other areas. So every time he tripped, I was like, okay, either it's too hot feeding into the breaker, which causes a trip, or... It's overloaded. And the reason why I knew it wasn't too hot is because when nothing else is on in the um, garage room, it reads just fine, giving you 118 volts on a closed circuit. So by the time this is all said and done, I have to go someplace else because I now need to buy a pushmatic breaker. So I went to one of my local stores. I don't like this store, but I have no choice but to go there because they're everywhere. And I had to buy this little thing right here. This 20 amp single pole pushmatic breaker. Now, this store on their website says they match prices everywhere. If it's online, like Lowe's, Amazon, places like that, as long as it's not a... Uh, a bidding system, like it's a final price, they match prices with that website. Online they say that, on the corporate um, office they say that, but in every single store they do not do that. They fight so hard, tooth and nail. So when I show them the Home Depot website that says that they do price match, they don't want to look at it. They want to fight it tooth and nail like there's some type of gang or something. Like, I'm trying to screw them over because they don't know their job well enough to actually know that they do match prices. Not just with Lowe's, not just with Lowe's um, delivery price, but even Amazon's price. So, if you have, like, Amazon Prime, and you can find that, that uh, price, they'll price match it. But they don't want to do that inside the stores. So, it, it took four managers and three different... Um, cashiers to keep going up and up the chain now the funny thing is, is i actually have a, a text message from home depot corporate where i was asking questions about their price matching with amazon and why is that inside the stores they don't do that so they said on the text that they do price match with amazon but they have to have a direct link so 
if I'm in the store, guess what you have? You have my phone, which gives you a direct link. All I got to do is just type up the name on Amazon.com and that price pops up. For me, it always pops up as like really low. So, cut the story short, this bad boy in Home Depot is about $60, $63 after tax, if you're lucky. It's actually ringing up as a $59 and some odd cents. So, just off the top of my head, 63 would be too low. It'd be more like $57 after tax. Bottom line is, it's thirteen dollars and ninety-one cents at Lowe's on their um, at their Punta Hills site. They, though they don't have any in store right now, they say that they can go ahead and deliver it to you by April seventh. So at thirteen ninety-one, I'm going to buy several of them. I mean, it's the same price as like a regular breaker, and those things are very expensive. However, I'm not taking advantage of them because if you go to Amazon, that same breaker is $29. So from 60 something dollars to $29, even after tax, you're looking at about $33, $34 after tax in California, whereas our tax is 10.25. So, yeah, I mean, it makes no sense that. They fight so much. Like, they actually own stock in the company. You're a freaking employee. Just do your job. Your your company says that you match prices online. It says that you match prices with any online site that does not have a bidding system. So, if you match prices online, then just match the freaking price. Stop making the big deal. Stop trying to fight me saying, oh, we can only do $4 off. No, you can do the exact same price that it says on their online website. And if this is the case, then why fight? The funniest part is, is fight, you're fighting Lowe's. It's your number one competition. Why don't you say no? Go to that store. They literally told me to go to that Lowe's store or wait until the 7th and then go get it there. Like, are you an a-hole? I mean, I know, I know you think you know how to do my job because you claim you did my job for a second, but here you are working at Home Depot. But are you an a-hole for real? I mean, there's a lot of guys that work inside the Home Depot and they can give some good information as far as where things are, but not how to do the job. They give stories like they did this stuff for years. But if you did this stuff for years, wouldn't you be doing this stuff still? Because like... I make over $100,000 a year doing this stuff. Why would you drop yourself down to 20 bucks an hour? I mean, life is hard. Life is very expensive. I have a wife and three kids, and I make over 100000 like I said. And I consider myself broke. Because after material costs, after all the bills I got to pay, after... All the school, all the dance, all the birthday parties, and all that stuff. I feel broke. You know, I make a nice amount of money every single month. And I still can't afford to get a house out here. Yet. So, you working in my field. And then you stopping to go ahead and work for Home Depot? Does not make sense. That means you're lying to me. You're telling such a poor lie that you think I'm going to believe it. Like, let's say you did. Let's say you worked at a location and it was a bad location. But you liked what you did and you knew how to do it well. Would you not want to just change your location? Go to a different company and do the work some more? Would you not, I don't know, just decide to... Go venture off for yourself if you had enough years and experience to do it, like I did. Because I don't see myself working at Lowe's. I did that when I was like 18. I'll never do it again. So, why lie? And then all the other people, they want to pass the blame so that it's not on them. But how do you pass the blame when your company policy strictly says you match prices? Why fight tooth and nail? You're just going to have me call corporate and complain about you not following their policies instead of implementing your own policies about what you do or don't do.